What would you say if I told you there's more to the predator weapons than what we know? Throughout the different forms of media like movies, comic books, and video games, the weapons within the Yauchua culture seem to have a tribal connection or are customized personally by that predator. We have seen the staple weapons like the wrist blades, combi stick, shuriken, plasma caster, and the net gun, but there are more secrets to these weapons. We know that the predators do make their weapons out of some type of material that is resistant to the acid blood from the xenomorphs. However, this type of material is not utilized by every predator in every story. For example, the comic books and movies tend to have different stories around this topic. Some hunting parties full of young bloods would still use weapons that were acid resistant, but in other stories like the movies, the predators who are put through the rite of passage would not have every weapon made from this material, so this brings me to something else I want to look at. There was a scene in the movie Predator 2 that was very brief, but it did mention something about the material used in the Yauchua's weapons. When the doctor and chief pathologist in the city was examining the spear tip taken from Danny's hand, the material was not listed in the periodic table, but this scene was expanded upon in the many drafts of the movie. There were different drafts of the script, and each one had mentioned different details about this special material. One draft of Predator 2 from 1989 goes on to say this, The metal used in Danny Archuleta's death was better than any surgical instrument. The wrist blade was very sharp, but also had some very unusual properties. When a bone fragment was magnified, you could see a gray-black haze around the cell structure. It appeared to be the residue left by the path of the weapon, perhaps even some type of lubricant adhering into the blade. This would create a more efficient medium of cutting, similar to honing oil on a sharpening stone. It was later classified as not an oily substance, but actually the metal itself. Another draft of the script would expand on this topic, later adding that the bladed weapon of the predator was not metal, but some type of crystalline compound, similar to diamond, but much harder. It also possessed the self-lubricating qualities from a weapon that killed another person. As she points to the screen, she says, what you're seeing is the vapor of this material breaking down, evaporating. So it's a pretty cool piece of information that was never brought up in the movie. I'm not sure why it was removed, but it does add more mystery to their weapons. It's one of those ideas that could add to the lore, but at the same time, maybe it wasn't that important, so it was removed from the final version of the script. So what do you think about this information about their bladed weapons? Do you think they should go deeper into the Predator lore when it comes to this stuff? Tell me in the comment section. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, or Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah!